From beginner to pro, here's three ways to set the background color in Keyshot. If you've just picked up Keyshot, the easiest way to set the background color is to head to the environment tab and put the background into color mode. The issue with this method is there's no interaction between the background color and your products. Let's move on to number two. The easiest way to address this is to use the HDRI editor to add a colored light behind the product. Simply select the background layer and delete the default image. Now add in a pin and position it behind your product. Make it large enough to fill the frame and choose your color. Regardless Regardless of what lights you add after, you can always see the colour bleeding around the edges, blending the product in with the background as you'd expect to see in real life. To finalise this method, save the colour, head to the image tab, change the mode to photographic and enable the background layer. Entering your colour in here will ensure your background colour is an exact match even if you change the exposure and contrast. Ultimately though, we're still faking it with a HDRI pin. So let's move on to number three. The best way to add a background color is to add geometry such as a plane or scoop behind the product. In Keyshot, click Control-5 to add a plane. Place it behind your product facing the camera and scale it up so it fills the frame. Now all you need to do is light that background. As you're using more geometry to build the scene, it's worth going the extra mile and using physical lights. Airy lights and spotlights work great, but I'm going to use the new planar light from the upcoming Keyshot 2025.1, which I can set up in just a few simple clicks. Regardless of which level you're at, pick your poison, have some fun, and as always, follow for more quick tips.